This week's bow tuning tip is brought to you by Akinok for the shot that matters. We're going to talk a little bit about the grip of your bow, how it can affect your shot. We're also going to talk a little bit about how the release and the follow through is going to also and help prove your accuracy. The first thing we want to talk about is your grip of the bow. And if a lot of you guys out there, we, we refer to it as torquing. And you get a guy's what we like to call the gorilla grip. And for lack of a better term, that's when a guy's got a super big hold of the bow. Well, when you've got that bow, you can twist it like this. The reason the grip is so important and the torquing can cause accuracy problems is because when you twist that bow, essentially, it's like having an off center shot. You know, it's like your rest is not set center of the bow. That's what's going on by the torquing. So, you know, essentially your arrow is in the rest crooked because you're torquing one way or another. And when you shoot, you're going to get that sideways flight of the arrow off the bow. Okay, so you need to try to practice with a shooting with your open hand. You know, and you want to keep your fingers down. You saw how I had my fingers in a down position. That way they're not up there getting shot by the arrow and passing. You know, you don't, some guys will have their, their fingers up like so. You know, no, no, no. You want to keep your fingers in the downward position just like this. And yet when a shot's fired, I have something there to catch it. That's also why I wear a sling. It gives me the reassurance that when I have my hand open and I do shoot, that my bow's not going to fly out of my hand. The other thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about your anchor point. And what that is, is where your hand and your string is in relationship to your face. When you draw back and you lock down on your bow at full draw, where you anchor before you make the shot is what I'm talking about. Okay, what I look at in an anchor point is you want to have the anchor point that feels right to you. And when I say that, you're going to draw your bow back and, and you're going to find that place to where you like to just Put the, put the arrow up there and you shoot. That's, the, that's your anchor point. I can't tell you what that is because I don't know what it feels right to you. You see how, what I'm saying? And what happens is, is you basically get your anchor point set. You set your peep sight to your anchor point, okay? So that automatically is the first step of setting your bow up to fit you. That's why I can't shoot your bow as accurately as you can because it's not set up for me. It's set up for you. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this back and I'm going to show you a couple things was my anchor point that a lot of people uh, find uncomfortable in some situations and some people just don't like it. Okay, I'm going to verbally walk you through and show you at the same time what I'm doing in, during the shot process when I draw my bow, anchor, and then I shoot. First thing is, is I hook my release up. Then I open the grip of my hand, letting the bow set against the palm. Right there, the grip, it's right in my palm. I can feel it pushing back. Okay, then I'm going to Hold the bow out straight in front of me, and I draw back smoothly. Okay? Now, I've got the bow there. I'm standing with my feet about shoulder width apart. I'm going to go ahead and anchor down, just like I did a minute ago. Okay, I got my anchor point. I got that fob right there against my chin. I can feel the fob. Okay, I got my sight, my ring inside of a ring. I got the pin on the elk's head. Bam. Follow through with a nice, smooth draw, and it felt good. One more thing I want to talk about <clears throat> is you noticed when I drew my bow back how I pulled just like this. That's because I can handle the weight of this bow. It's a 70-pound bow. If you cannot hook up to your bow, draw it straight back like this without struggling, some guys I see at the range, they're doing this number, they're doing this number, they're cocking a 250-pound crossbow. You're shooting way too much poundage, you know, and if you've got too much poundage on your draw, it's going to be too much poundage when you're at full draw, and it's going to make your form sloppy, it's going to make you rush to shot, and you're going to punch it, and you're never going to get consistent. Well, that's this week's bow tuning tip. I hope it helped you guys out. I'm going to get out and do me some more shooting because I do need to practice with this new bow. Thanks and stay tuned. I'll see you next week with another great bow tuning tip. Until then, you know. Be sure to visit BowTuningTips.com for all your latest archery tuning tips, taxidermy tips. Let's go along with my son David. He tries to fill his smoke pot bag to make you a better archer.